Hey, welcome back to the Biomutant Gunless Challenge. I, I figured I should actually mention that in the intro of the videos. Put it in the thumbnail and the titles and stuff. Things have been a little hectic the past couple days. Uh, this is my first time participating in like a major release. Uh, also my first time like doing daily videos. I don't, I don't buy new games. I typically wait like five years and then buy them like game of the year edition for like ten dollars with all the dlc but you didn't you didn't come here for a discussion about my purchasing habits you came here for biomutant i swear i'll buy a mount someday when i really like the look of it but like you can get free ones in the wild so just for like utility we'll just get one of those like like this this thing it doesn't speak to me this one does not spark joy. Wonders if anyone will still make music right up till the Tree of Life keels over. Probably. There's a twing twang to be found not too far away. Was Punky Funks once? Who? A decent twing twang could be the start of a lot of fun. Uh, who who was Punky Funk? Claims that was the bandmate of Funky Punk. They made the best party tunes around. Believes the Twing Twang isn't too far off. Just got to find it. Be careful with the Twing Twang when you find it. A good one's a real treasure. Then you can start up a tune fest. I mean... It would probably be worth money. Figures there's always a buyer for an unbusted twing twang. Today I want to get to the third outpost before the end of the episode. Because I I'll be damned if I'm gonna like get to this fortress and end the episode on it. I I've done that twice already. It's starting to get a little repetitive. If I'm sick of it, you guys must be sick of it, so... That said, which way do we need to go? So just follow this route up there. Never need to not swim again. Uh, I don't remember how to do this. Okay, you just press forward. That makes sense. Intuitive button controls. Remember back in like the olden days when, oh, um, get back on before you drown. When controls were just this wild west, you could do anything. Remember when people used the arrow keys for movement? The dark times were scary. Okay, I said I'd focus on getting there, but let's look this island. Yeah. Yeah. Can we, like, is that a plant we can interact with? No. See that broken boat over there? Looks like it still floats. Oh, okay. Uh, that's a big guy. I didn't, didn't look like he had a head for a minute there. I guess that was just the hoodie. Uh, these, there's a lot of dudes. Uh, let me check something real quick. getting shot from. Not up there, apparently. Dead on. Cut that one in half. 
There's a lot of ranged guys over here. All right. Button mashing. That's not okay. So now switch back to gun. No, sword. Okay, that's how you do Wang Fu. Got it. Uh, we probably want to. Let's do ground slams because. Who could stand against that? That's AO. Heal, 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 dodge. There's a lot of explosions on this beach. Oh yeah, I think I'm getting the hang of this game, despite what it may look like. Dave just doing the sound effects now? Ow. That feels better. Uh, that's not possible. Alright, I'll spam this guy out a little. Okay, so we can go to one-handed, so let's... Oh, whoops. I guess we need to level up. I think our strength is good for now. I don't know if we exactly need anything else in particular. Let's just... Let's go for some vitality. I know vitality and agility shows up on, like, armor requirements. So let's get a little bit of vitality, a little bit of agility. Round man. out our character. Um, yeah, this is what I wanted, was upgrading. Oh, he's dead. Well, that was maybe a bit of an anticlimactic really understand your story till it's done. way to end th that fight, but the idea is that I can now unequip the second weapon instead of having to re instead of having to rely on like special weapons like the fist. I thought it was a neat idea. Also, there's still people here. Okay. Well, let's try it out on these guys. Middle life. Oh yeah. Probably want to heal again. Right in the face. Now, if I could only fast tap to switch melee, that would be. A little better. That's the good stuff. Oh, hello. I didn't even realize you were here. Lemma. This one seems to be in good spirits, despite being left here for dead. 
Jira Vabasco Ishko has heard that you have a sense of compassion and trusts it's in your nature to help those in need. Asks you to do the right thing for the sake of your conscience. It's only through your inner conflict you're held accountable for your actions. So what inner conflict? I'm fine. Is surprised you chose not to help. Feeling good is not the same thing as doing good. Nothing shines like the dark. Oh, no, wait. Oh, well, you know. Uh, sure. Just when you think there's no hope, hope comes along. Blinded by the light. Shining like a brand new day. Next time, go with your gut. Your dark, dark gut. They keep changing, like, which one of these is supposed to be instinctual and which one's supposed to be, like... Like, before it was, oh, the brain's the dark one. Oh, hello. That looks very dangerous. Oh, there's a, there's a Google Glide box here. Showed up on the little, uh... Oh, hello. Yeah. So that's this area done. I mean, I'm not sure how I feel about, like, the whole, like, checkbox thing. But I guess it's, it's it's passable, it's serviceable, it does exactly what it intends to do. Um, I don't have anything good to say about it, I don't have anything bad either. I do like how there's enemies in this area, and there weren't enemies in the previous area with checkboxes, which was Bricktown. So there's some variety to it, it's not just like Fallout, where like every area you go into has to have enemies, right? You. Is that more loot? Not if I don't make this jump, it's not. Okay. We're good. What are you? You look important. Uh, that looks very threatening. But looking threatening and being threatening are not the same thing. I doubt... A handsaw like that is actually a very good melee weapon. Where are we? Right, we got distracted. Uh, so north-ish. That way. That's a mine. Why, why is there a mine here? Can we shoot it? Like, we can sort of target it. Come on. Oh, are the mines what we're hearing? That's disconcerting. I'm not sure I like that noise. We'll just hop over here. Avoid them for now. But yeah, I'd feel better about... Life's a beach. Even though it's hard to see it that way. Wow. What are you? Uh. That's different. What are you doing out here? Darken the world. Oh. Oh, I made it nighttime. Oh, that's pretty. I guess that's. What? What are you doing here, little buddy? The more I think about it, the more, like, the light and dark avatars. They're, those aren't Neopets. We're the Neopet, and those are pet pets. There's your reference that only, like, early 2000s kids will get. Time to over the goo. Uh, what do we have that's new now? Okay, we have a good engine. That'll soon pay off. Same front. Better back. Although this back seems to match that better. Maybe? Eh. No. Smart we need to see then. it in the light. And then we'll know. But yeah, no, I, uh. I was just looking into Neopets the other day. I'm surprised they haven't done more for, like, the mobile market. You think that 
they'd be all over like a Pokemon Go thing. Or you think someone else would have come up with something at some point. But no, Neopets is just floundering like it has been for the past two decades. Which is a shame. So that's not the island we need to go to, and neither is that. So let's just avoid those for now. Let's get to where we need to go first. Ready to live at your own speed. Well, what do you know? The uh, tribes need someone to unite them. Right, that's what I know, apparently. You got any dialogue? No. I'm sure some of the people who will eventually watch this, you guys are like, why, why does this guy care about dialogue so much? The writing is garbage. And you know what? First of all, the writing's passable and at times even kind of charming, in my opinion at least. You're welcome to your own. Secondly, I don't know, I just I just care about writing. I'm a writer, that's what I do. Like, for good or ill, like, if, even if the writing was really painfully bad, I'd still want to experience it to, like, know the depth of its depravity, right? Like, the quality of it has no sort of compulsion on whether or not I want to experience it. It's like watching The Room. You watch The Room, you're suddenly a better screenwriter. Even though it's a horrible film that you should never aspire to make. Although that's maybe a little harsh. The Room has provided joy to countless people. But you, you get the idea. It's not it's not a, an example you should be aspiring to. This is a to. quarrel spot. So many wars have been fought over this patch of dirt. What a waste. Is that a monitor lizard in a onesie? I remember seeing this in one of the trailers. Is he friendly? Who am I attacking here? Oh yeah, I'm starting to get the hang of this. What do I have left? This guy. Take that. Zap up. I need to get more powers at some point. Should really look into that. We probably have enough side points and we're already level 7. Oh, there's a big guy. We got two Sullivans fighting over here. So much damage. We got the John Goodman Sullivan, and then we've got the Uncharted Sullivan. And whichever one wins, they'll get a sequel. And honestly, I don't really want either of them to win. The uh, Monsters University is fine. It's it's no Cars 2, but it's not a great film either. Also, this guy is apparently friendly. Okay, I'm sorry I tried to attack you. He's cute. But like, like Uncharted Four ended on such like a perfect note that I don't, I don't think Naughty Dog should go. I mean, then again, Naughty Dog made, you know, The Last of Us Two. No matter what you have to say about the quality of The Last of Us Two, and I haven't played it or any of the other, really any Naughty Dog games since like Crash Bandicoot because they're all PlayStation exclusives. Uh, but I've watched other people play them and they're fine. Seems sturdy enough. But. The one thing I think critics and fans of The Last of Us 2 will say is that it's an unnecessary sequel, right? The Last of Us 2 should have been like um, The Walking Dead video games. It should have been new characters in the same setting, and it's not, because, you know, nostalgia and all that. I say nostalgia, like, it's, it's not just a game that came out like five years ago and then they released a sequel to it. But hey, I mean, Skyrim has apparently been out for longer than the time between Morrowind and Skyrim. Video games take forever these days. What are those? Oh, are these critters I can catch? I think they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch! Alright, wait, hold on. 
We need to think about the moral implications of this. We have more dark than light. Okay. Catch. No. Catch. I'm so bad at this. What are you? And why are you so fast? There we go. Um. I'll pet it? What do you look like? Well, I didn't get to see what it looked like. All right, camera mode. What are you? Jesus Christ, how horrifying. Not going. Yeah, we're definitely killing this one. I'm not allowing a breeding pair of these into my pockets. I don't like the inordinate amount of human-faced animals in this game. Uh, on the flip side, I am glad that these designs are the designs that they are for like the player character type creature because they're, they're not furry is what I'm getting at. He's very rocket raccoon. Although I say that there's probably still loads of fan art for these and rocket raccoon for that matter. Oh a glue bottle. Don't know what that does. All right, we've got to be almost here. Where is it? There it is. How do we get there? Uh, I guess we boat. Oh, come on. Okay, so we really need to be in the water to summon the Goo Glide. Got Listen it. Listen to that jet roar. Uh, ramming speed. Oh, oh, jeez. Okay, I didn't expect actual hostilities let's get off uh, why is that rock interactable and who are you what are you doing here why are you hostile to me it's, oh geez rats rats they're rats they stalk at night they pray at night Stomp outpost, shined up by the Myriad tribe. Irradiated. The deep cut. All right, we got these rats number. Oh, geez, that rat drowned. I would hate for my cause of death to be unstoppable pig. Like, could you imagine telling the family? It'd be awful. The nice thing about playing a game at release is the story has got to keep moving forward. All right, now you're starting to repeat yourself, Dave. Don't make me turn you down. Uh, the nice thing about playing a game at release is that like there's still a lot of mystery to Biomutant. So that's nice. I think the last game I had that was Fallout 4. I bought Fallout 4 at release and then remembered that it was a Bethesda game and I should probably like wait for unofficial patches, so I did. But I didn't like get into uh, the discussion about the game until after I had actually gone back and played it again. I should probably replay it at some point. So this is just another outpost? Cool. We get a lot of those. Let's try and spend some points. Oh, we gotta level up. Okay. Uh, let's go for some agility. Nothing can slow you down. Your automaton's weapon inflicts 100% more damage. It's 100% of zero. 
Use after a successful special attack to replenish some of your key energy. That sounds useful. Let's get that. I'm also going to get Psy Spikes because damage is damage. I mean, we could get Nocturnal. Do we want to just spend most of the game at night? Sure, why not? We still have Bio Points and Psy Points. Oh, the Mucus Bubble. That looks like fun. Do we want to spend all of our Bio Points? Maybe. Maybe. We still only have Blink and Blaze. Now let's get Blink. We got plenty of points. So if Blink is like a dodge, then let's put it on the dodge button, right? That makes sense. Okay. Wow, that... That uses like half of my energy for something that's not really that much more useful than a dodge. Great waste of points. Says there's an interesting place nearby that no one knows about, but doesn't really want to talk about it right now. Uh, I'm real concerned about persuading because my, my charisma is already bad and they said that no. Wishes someone from the Myriad bloodline like you wasn't so bent on snuffing out the lights. I'm in the middle. Hopes to see you again soon. Not bad, I'm just not good either, okay? There's a difference. Not a lot in the way of weapons. Uh, is that a different Careful. note? This place might look serene, but it is not. What kind of note are you? A tur tur turgle note. Okay. It's a me, Samurio. So there's some cool looking armor, but nothing better than what we have, which that's fair. So I guess I'll just loot this place and see you on the way out. Uh, why is why is there grass in here? Oh, yeah. Says you don't exactly look like the trustworthy type. Wow, I kill one small defenseless animal and everyone doesn't trust me anymore. Says you're welcome back. We really do live in a society. Twinkles that it's good the Myriad tribe is your friend, even if you'd rather shade than shine. See, this guy knows what's up. These like animal cages? That's neat. Although I'm starting to get this creeping sense of existential dread at the idea that these things keep pets. I, I, I did the pet the thing as a joke, but we're, we're starting to get into like goofy and Pluto territory. I'm not sure if I'm here for it. Thinks you shouldn't be out in the day when everyone can see you. Remind me to never have more dark than light side points, because this is just the worst. The world needs saving. Make the most of the day. Uh, what do you need, Mr. Armadillo Man? Seems like the Tree of Life dying is taking everything down with it. They have a friend having troubles with the bellows. They're just not working like they should. Could find that windy pal and help them out. What's wrong with the bellows? Heard they're broken, but doesn't know how. Guess is you'll figure it out. Says you can probably find their friend wandering somewhere near the bellows. The blow pal can give you more details about the bellows. They hope. Without the bellows, the folk round here will suffer. Hope you can help fast. Uh, okay. I'll help. Thinks you'll always right there with the needs for you. I don't know what it is, but the depth of field is all screwy all of a sudden. Says that lying here in the sun isn't a bad way to wait for the end. It's warm. Claims there's a machine out there that can turn sunshine into go juice. If you can find it and fix it up, you can juice your gear all day long. 
Uh, where is it? Says you should start with sunny spots, right? Says they're not sure where the solar mirror is, but they'd look for it someplace sunny. Get that solar mirror fixed up, and you'll have all the go juice you can make. Right up until the sun burns out, that is. Yeah, I can help people. Do I want to help people? I mean... Hey, a solar mirror doesn't really sound that helpful for these people who don't have, like, any sort of electrical appliances. But on the other hand, how does it help with self-reflection? These are both bad choices. I'm just gonna... Yeah. Claims you got the right idea. Oh, apparently that was the right choice. Oh, he's fishing. That's cute. Claims no one loves critters more than Nocco. When you meet her, just ask. All right, so says talking to you was interesting. The bad depth of field is just here to say, and I don't know if it's because of my resolution scaling or what. The game is just freaking out in all sorts of ways right now. That's not great. So where do we want to go from here? Tribe Fallout Line 3E. Well, that certainly sounds like something. I guess we'll follow this road. Oh, that's this spot, huh? And there's more fighting. Great. All right, we, we killed everyone. No, we haven't killed everyone here. Oh, that guy just spawned in. Now I can forgive stuff like the trees and stuff, not the trees, the grass showing up in the tribal outpost. Sort of stuff happens even in big budget games, but like, you literally have all these cliffs around this arena. You could have just had him spawn in and jump down, although then you need like a jumping down animation, I guess. Just like making sure he doesn't spawn in in midair in the player's line of sight. Is that too much to ask? So gulp's just up that way. Okay. So let's head west. That village wasn't on fire a minute ago. Are you sure this goo glide's safe? Hey, what's going on over there? Thinks it's awful how you can't find good pastries anymore. I know. Sure, Lump makes some wild things, but the taste... And how they treat you when you eat them. Oh, no thanks. Uh, who is Lump? Says he's the wildest baker around. A real artiste. Says the rumor is Lump's baked goods can do all sorts of strange things to you. They've never been brave enough to try his craziest creations. If you're desperate enough to give them a go, good for you. Yeah, sure, I'll have some pastries. Thinks you'd do something exciting with them. Oh. Well, this is here. Um, excuse me? Okay. Sure. Is 
some metal scrap. Why is this village on fire? Ooh, more scrap. We can wait. Hold on to that. Village attackers. And apparently area objectives. Okay. You're poking around Popper, a prime village. Kill Buster. Environmental kills would be nice. Voted. Article. Oh. Heroes are only heroes for others, but they do the work, or they're heroes to no one. Sure. Um. Talk to tri village tribe member. Which one? That one. Okay, that one specifically. Sure. So this is a myriad village, and that's why it was attacked. Okay. Says the tribe Sifu sent them here to help defend against the rival tribe that's been terrorizing their village. Isn't sure how long the village will last if it continues. As if the plague ruining the land and destroying the crops wasn't enough to bring the village to its knees already. Uh, plague? That's what they call the blight that's been haunting the land since the old world ended in the apocalypse around here. The Sifu asked you to help, and that's what you must do. Uh, is there something in particular I should be doing? They need your protection and help to restore their village. The Sifu asked you to help, and that's what you must do. You hiding something? Unless we work to save the tree, it won't look so perfect for much longer. I feel like something's still missing here. Wonders if you would have turned out better if your parents had been there for you. All right, that's enough out of you. Understands you have other places you need to go. The Sifu asked you to help, and that's what you must do. What else should I know? Twinkles that it's good the Myriad tribe is your friend, even if you'd rather shade than shine. What am I missing here? Wishes someone from the Myriad bloodline like you wasn't so bent on snuffing out the lights. Right, I'm done with you. So, says you covered the important things already. The Sifu asked you to help, and that's what you must do. Get out of here. So, says you covered the important things already. What a strange, circuitous conversation that was. Okay, so now we're gathering wood specifically, I guess to rebuild the village like he asked. That makes sense. He didn't say to gather wood, but that makes sense. Sure put out these fires in a hurry. What do you got? Says you should take the time to enjoy what we have while you watch the leaves fall from the tree of life. They love the juice that Jumble makes. So good. He gathers ingredients from all over. Surprisingly tasty. Uh, where is this Jumble? Claims Jumble travels everywhere, so he could be anywhere. Makes sense. Says it's hard to find Jumble, but it's so worth the effort. Keep on the lookout for him, and you should find him. Then buy a juice from him fast, before he runs out. 
Sounds tasty. Thinks you're not the only one. Wow, the shirt is really good in everything except armor. Alright, well that's boosted. You still look pretty heavily armored. Alright, now we've weepified our weapons. There's a lot on the line here. So they look like authentic fake katanas instead of really bad fake katanas. Banana? Let's see. I don't know why, but that little, like, circling animation he did to get in the right spot was really cute. Also, what do you mean we need to gather wood? There's wood right here. Ugh. Uh, are there any more chests in this? What do you have? Hates how many new beasties are wandering around the world these days. Hard to know what kinds of horrors lurk around every corner. Fortunately, their friend Moog has been writing down the worst ones. Uh, where can I find Moog? Guesses you should look for Steep Depot. At least that's where he set up tent last. Claims that Moog goes where the monsters go, but as he's tracking scripts now, he's probably still at the Steep Depot cliff in the dead zone. Keep your sniffer sniffing for stinky stuff, and your eyes peeled for his tent. Moog will appreciate the company. It's not easy to live life in the presence of monsters. I could learn a lot from Moog. Thinks you could, if you can stand being close to him. Monster Hunter. Oh, that must be the German name. Upgrading sure does take a lot of points. Probably less if I were to take those screws off. But I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Yeah, we need a lot of stuff. A whole lot of stuff. We are scraping by. That's Pockburg complete. Okay, I hear you. Where are you? I'm gonna get ya. Look what. Uh, pet. And just like that, two small acts of mercy, we have shifted from one of history's greatest monsters to one of history's greatest heroes. It's going to be difficult staying balanced, but I'm definitely going to want to stay on the light side of balanced. I guess I theoretically could have, like, just captured one of them, but then that's like me giving up a point, right? Might as well get the point. These rocks. Yes. Oh, it's a clam. The bead in it? Okay. Complains that it's hard living in a world where everything's falling apart. If it wasn't for the work of Pebble, lots of parts of the world would be cut off. No one builds climby racks like him. Uh, where can I find this Pebble? Figures if you look in hard to reach places, he might be there. Oh, of course. Thinks Pebble doesn't spend much time in level lands. To find him, you should look for steep places. Maybe he can show you some new paths he built. I can appreciate the help. Says that's likely. He's helped so many. Okay, so that's another point of interest on this increasingly 
cluttered map. Which I'm not upset about it. It's, a, it's cool. I'm just surprised. That's two wood. We need a lot of wood. Let's break some stuff down for wood. Well, there went most of our loot, but it's better than having to run around the entire map looking for wood. Was that another creature or just a rock? Probably be careful about doing that over bodies of water. Oh wow, it's actually being rebuilt. I'm honestly a little surprised at that. Cut wood to size? Yeah, sure. This is cute. You never get to do stuff like this in Skyrim or The Witcher, right? It's always like, oh, go rescue these people, and then the village is just burned down for the entirety of the game. Like, could the resources to do this have been spent better elsewhere? Maybe, yeah. I still appreciate this, though. All right, what's next? Oh my god, it's in stages! These villagers have all got to have identical layouts or something, because this is a lot of effort just for this one place. Or maybe not layouts, but just like the buildings are always the same. This is neat though. Like, just a minute ago I was starting to get upset with this game and now it's, it's won me back in. Has no doubt you've earned the trust and support of this village. Actions speak louder than words. You did good here. He's always willing to listen. You did good here. Uh, do you have anything? Time to buy or sell? Oh, they do have stuff. Okay. I don't know what these miscellaneous items are, so I'm just gonna buy them. They're cheap enough. A syringe? That's awful. I hate it. Came out on top. Okay, so that's some more XP. We rescued this village. What a wonderful day! It is a wonderful day. So now we can come in and like, yeah, look, there's interiors. Oh, this is neat. Uh, maybe you don't have rocks in your house, though. Let's go see what this guy's up to. Okay, now that we're in the light, yeah, no, these two match. This is a nice sleek. This here is the Sinky Dink, home of Gulp, at the very least. What is that noise? Is that like an intercom? Let's see. The Merc Puff shell is supposed to be tougher than rock. Good to know. Says talking to you was interesting. You too, man. Uh, what about you, bartender? Are you just not gonna talk to me? No? Is it because I'm behind the counter? Listen, I'm an adult. Just because I don't look like it. Do I need to show ID? I left it at home. He's not gonna budge, is he? What do you got? He's pretty sure he's heard of you before, although the details are maybe a little hazy. He wonders if you have something for him to drink. Uh, do you remember me? Guesses he does, but it's a long life in a wild world. Sometimes he's shaken, not stirred. 
Says you look like you've got a powerful thirst to do something in this world. Good, bad, not really sure, but it seems like you've been drinking in your destiny and liking the flavor. Wonders if you could take the time to help a man slake his own thirst. You'd be doing him a liquid solid. You're a do-gooder, so you know you want to. Either way, he hopes you find a way to wet your whistle before the world comes to an awful dry end and leaves us all thirsting for more. Says life's like a mystery drink. Sometimes it's amazing, and sometimes it's awful. But either way, you can't stop drinking till you're dead. You should eat something. It's not good to drink on an empty stomach. Sure, but that's nowhere near as quick and easy. Who wants to stop to chew? Searing, sad, they're guiltless. Wants to raise a glass to you getting the world fixed up a bit. Oh, you saw that? Respects how you always try to help, no matter that the world's fate is hard to swallow. Sees why you joined up with the Myriad. They like a peaceful drink, just like you. You drink with them? Says he sells them drinks. They mostly suck them down on their own. But who cares about them? Says you'd be as bummed out as him if you came for the hot stuff. The glug mocker, Nimhim Bibble, and his favorite, Radium Syrup. That one's even more intoxicating now, aged in truck tankers and all. Without a drink, and Radium Syrup especially, he can't move, much less think as the power of his mind is directly proportioned to the quantity of syrup he swigs. That's why he's called Gulp. The drink helps him forget the state the world is in, but it only lasts until tomorrow. The world is still doomed, even if the sun goes up. Pretty sure radium syrup is that stuff that the children of Adam teach you how to make in Far Harbor. Drinking makes you dumb. It makes most dumber, but that's his special burden to bear. He wants you to know he has other interests, too. He's the Surfipelago's self-proclaimed ornithologist, for example. There are other ways than a cold drink to relieve stress, even in these dark times, and, fortunately for you, he can help. Watching Pippi's flap is calming, but better yet are the ones you can look at and touch, like quacks. Squeezing them is a great way to relax. You're an ornithologist? Says he read that in an old world book. It means you're an expert of all living things that flap and tweet. So, Gulp can read. These people can read. Which only leaves more questions than answers. Wonders what kind of good you'll get up to today. Uh, lots of things, now that I'm back on the light side. Seems surprised you have to go. I mean, all this flip-flopping, I basically am playing Revan now. Oh, you have something? Gulp tells you to not forget those quacks. They won't squeeze themselves. Alright, I've put the shadow scale back down below. You can see it's sort of like jittery, but I can put the resolution scale back up. So, you know, we get one or the other, but not both. Uh, but yeah, no, I think I'll just, you know, take a minute. Relax in the bar, maybe wait until happy hour, and I'll catch you guys on the other side. Mm -hmm.